marvellous, joyful, encouraging journey. An Amanita Muscaria and Hawaiian Baby Woodrow's trip report, posted by Lucky57 to Iruid.org, September 1st, 2018. If it matters, I am six foot six, height weight proportionate. I took these substances at home by myself at 4.20pm, Mountain Daylight Savings Time on August 11th, 2018. This instance was the first time I'd ever taken any sort of mushroom. I'd read that keeping the dosage low is a good idea on the first try. I'd taken Hawaiian Baby Woodrow seeds before in combination with Morning Glory seeds, with somewhat unsatisfactory results. Nausea, lack of intensity, etc. My mindset was extremely relaxed in the matter. I felt quite confident about what I was doing and that nothing would happen that I couldn't handle psychologically. I'd read that having a sitter, at least on the first try, was a good idea. But I consider myself a very stable person, one who's endured a couple of so-called bad trips along with some very traumatic experiences in life. But having survived them all and being in my 60s, I didn't feel prone to any sort of psychological breakdown. I didn't wish to take on an empty stomach. I felt that might lead to nausea. I tried various preparation methods with morning glory seeds, all of which were taken on an empty stomach with the experience of nearly intolerable nausea. About 90 minutes prior to ingestion of the caps and seeds, I ate a turkey and cheese sandwich with a little mustard and a little caffeine-free Diet Coca-Cola. I tore off small pieces of the mushroom and chewed them all carefully. It didn't really taste that bad either, sort of earthy, musky. I took all four seeds at once and chewed them, leaving them under my tongue for a minute, then swallowing them. Then, I took two diamond hydronate, not diphenhydramine, I must say, or Benadryl. They're these anti-nausea tablets, and alongside that I ate a clementine orange since I'd heard that acidic fluids helped to potentiate the alkaloids in the mushrooms and seeds. After about an hour and 45 minutes, I took a booster dose of half a cap of Amanita muscaria, as well as two Hawaiian baby woodrow seeds. Then, after about 2 hours and 30 minutes, or 2 hours and 45 I began to experience some mild closed-eye visions. It was like sitting on a big outdoor balcony with a 180-degree view of the Aurora Borealis. Gradually, the visions became more intense, much more colourful, and much more complex, with constantly changing abstract patterns. It was like watching multiple movie screens at once, being able to pay attention to all of them at once and note what was happening in each one of them. Sometimes all of the screens would meld to form one single image, and occasionally, figures of faces, which I initially thought of as being grotesque, menacing, or perverse, were a little bit intimidating at first, but I knew that resisting these figures or trying to run from them would intensify the slight anxiety I first felt. So, I willingly accepted them, and I thought of them as being my friends rather than enemies, which caused me to smile. I thought of my smiles moving through space under a strobe light, like a river of undulating smiles which made me smile all the harder. I began to feel joy at knowing that I was under the influence and so much in control of it. I conceived of reaching out to touch the visions, and extended my arm upwards above my body while lying on my back, which was about 4 hours and 30 minutes after the initial dose. It was as if I dived right into the middle of all these marvellously coloured patterns and pieces of jewel-like light sources. They were inside of me now, making me feel happy, secure and warm. They filled me up and I exploded into a thousand whirling multicoloured galaxies, all sending off sparks of light. Yet even though I'd exploded, I could stand and watch myself as a separate observer even though I'd experienced that sensation of filling up and so joyfully exploding. The galaxies reconvened to reconstitute myself, and suddenly I conceived of a spectacular light source that began rapidly entering my body and exiting, back and forth going faster and faster, and at times, it seemed to be facilitating inside and outside of my body and at other times, I was facilitating inside and outside of it. And then... Both were happening at the very same time. When written in black and white on paper, it doesn't quite make much sense. 
The sense of space and time were more fluid. I kept going faster and faster, and as the frequency rose, I was able to hear a sound that rose in pitch to match this frequency. At last, the light and I were completely one, and then we began twirling and rotating through an ocean of colours. Our form changed constantly and would encompass the normal size of my body to perhaps a hundred square miles back and forth. Throughout all of this, I'm aware of the constant process of change, renewal, and acceptance of the rapidity with which it was all happening. So much was happening in such a short time, that time itself seemed to slow down. It was at this point I thought to myself, I think I'm pretty much peaking about now, which caused another huge smile and a sense of joy and satisfaction to watch over me. The fact that I was actually able to enjoy a hallucinogenic experience, especially after my rather strict upbringing, made me feel very pleased. It had been about five hours now since I took the first dose of mushrooms and seeds. I conceived that something sacred and otherworldly had entered me and that I had entered it. Some magisterial, majestic force that was making me lose my own identity, myself, repeatedly, over and over again. For some reason, it seemed natural to me to find myself over and over again, and to continually identify with it. As time passed, I became weary of it, and it dawned on me that perhaps I was being called upon by this force to relinquish possession of myself, to let go, and perhaps even to die. While the same visions of colours and vibration and frequencies were right in front of me and inside of me, it was as if I had a separate dream about riding a horse out in the country. I came to a wide and beautiful crystal clear stream where my horse drank from it. A very handsome elderly man, similar to Gandalf, with white hair and a big thick long white beard, rode up on his own beautiful white horse on the other side of the stream. His black eyes sparkled, and he smiled broadly at me with his deeply creased face instantly winning my trust. He slowly crossed over to my side of the stream, holding my eyes with his steady gaze and smile. Ride with me, he said. You'll see. It'll be beautiful. With only slight hesitation, I began to ride with him, and it was now as if I had a trail partner, someone I could trust in and rely upon. The wonderful visions continued, only now I had someone to share them with, and that made me very happy. It dawned upon me that I had given myself up to death itself, and it was truly wonderful. Never had I been happier or felt more satisfied or complete than in that moment. It was so reassuring to think that this is what death is like. Thinking of death as a friend, a companion, a trail partner. This was such a refreshing thought for me. Seven hours after the initial dose, the visions began to weaken, and my thoughts became less compelling. Around the eight hour mark, the last few flickers of colour in my vision had slipped away. I lay awake for an additional four hours after this, unable to sleep, and around the twelve hour mark I finally drifted off, around 4.30am the next day. I had some fairly routine, unremarkable dreams. I plan to take the drugs earlier in the day next time, so I won't be up all night again. I slept until one in the afternoon and felt very mildly hungover, although nothing nearly as bad as a bad alcohol hangover. Also of note is that the mushrooms and seeds had a fairly rapid laxative effect. After three hours, I had a large bowel movement, rapidly followed by another liquid bowel movement. It was an extremely satisfying experience though, I must say giving me several whole body shivers, almost like having an orgasm. It almost made me laugh to think that it was similar to what a woman must feel when giving birth. While squatting on the bog, I got totally ensconed in watching some light patterns on the bathroom wall for a few minutes. It made me laugh when I realised what I was doing, sitting there with a wad of toilet paper in my hand and a dirty bum. All in all though, I must say that this was a fantastic, rewarding and growing experience. Up until four years ago, I hadn't done any hallucinogens since the mid-1970s as a late teen, early 20s lad. At that time, 
there was still a terrible stigma attached to it all, at least in my mind. I took LSD once under really poor circumstances and had quite the bad time. Mescaline was way more fun. It was about four years ago that I took morning glory seeds in Hawaiian baby woodrows, and I did this several times with somewhat unsatisfactory results. And after trying to figure out how to obtain illegal substances, recently heard about Amanita muscaria mushrooms and Hawaiian baby woodrow seeds. I got the mushrooms online. I think there may be some risk to ordering the mushrooms. Seems to be questionable legality to owning the dried versions of it. But thankfully, nothing happened with it this time at all. And hopefully never will.